So Klaus is back, and you'll never guess what. He's only gone and brought me a matching hat, hasn't he? Give him a little kiss. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Got absolutely bricking it for him. So this is first unofficial practice day. Um, we found a little bit off the length. You've got to be 500 meters away. Um, really looking forward to it. Looks like a um, lovely venue, doesn't it? Oh mate, it's mint. This is like literally the other side of the bridge. It's same bit of water really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It looks tense back at reeds. Beautiful. There's even some little slots cut for us looking the weeds. Someone's had a go here, haven't they? 100%. What's planned today? Set a few sliders, set a few wagglers. Yeah, a few whips, a few wagglers. Get ready to go. Boys are here. Top tip, folks. Distance sticks aren't only for feeder fishing. They're great when you've got a, several different waggler rods for getting them all the same distance. As Mr. Dent's doing now. What do you do with that little weird... You need to be videoing out there. What do you mean out there? I'm the only good one I fired today. Get away. Have we done another one? Slope's going a bit right now. Oh, is that your excuse for this next one? Yeah. See it? Oh. Did you zoom in on that? <laughs> that one, Cameron? Uh, not a Carasio. Good strike, that. I would literally just press record. <laughs> Never is it a catfish? Let's have a look. Oh, you just want me to spite myself now, don't you? Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's not R. What are they called? What's the technical name for them? <coughs> <laughs> Poisson. Yeah, shat. that's him. Shat. Shat. I could have given you another one if you wanted. But... Sounds a bit like shat. <laughs> Carasio, daddy. Look at him. The wellies bit good. You look good in them wellies. Like them. Yeah. New you caught him on mister. Well, waggler. Bit of wag waggler daddy, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know. Well, waggler granddad. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> what you got here, dad? A little crossio. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh <it> <laughs> at least I weren't filming, eh? <laughs> at least you weren't filming, <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, Cam. Yeah, I don't know why I'm laughing, because I ain't got one. <laughs> Strawberry lace says... <coughs> Sour. Oh, um, You're going to share one, are you? I thought you were just keeping it for yourself. <laughs> They're sour, right. aren't they? Good um, first unofficial day. Set some rods up. Boys have had a bit more of a fish than us. Got some cool fish, didn't they? Yeah, didn't they? Some crassios. Yeah. Some little um, skimmers. Looks, looks like... I know not on the max length, but so many fish. Yeah. A lot, a lot of fish. So you're moving and bubbling and all sorts going on, isn't there? Oh, yes, big time. Um, but we went and got ground bait this morning, um, filled the van up with that, went and unpacked it and stuff. Little jobs like that try and get done in this first bit of the week, but all done and dusted, and we're going somewhere slider fishing tomorrow. Totally different. Yeah, yeah, apparently Steve spoke to someone at the tackle shop and found a venue for us, not actually on the place where we're going to fish the march, but um, sounds like a good place to just get our eye in with a catapult and get little tweaks done if you want to do anything. Perfect. I love strawberry life, isn't mate. So this is it, folks. First glimpse at the match length and a little bit different to normal JD. Isn't it? They spoke about being quite high off the water, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. You've never quite seen it that high before, have you? No. I mean, what's that? Ten foot drop? Must be. 
Wouldn't want to fall down there, would you? Not much water, is there, in Europe by anywhere at the minute? No, very, very low. Um, we told about it. This is what I, we expected, really. As you can see here, this is where the match is going to be all the way up here, right round that corner. Um, and then there's another match length as well that we're going to visit later, but look good. Looks brilliant, doesn't it? The proper match venue, isn't it? Odd fish moving and stuff. There is. Can I turn this around? I can't, can I? Not a very good media guy, really. Looks mint. Reckon to that. Floating method. Floating method bomb Disappointing. Not happy with that. Not happy with the catfish at all. Why? Well, I want to catch a skimmer. Let's have a look at him. How ugly is he? Yeah, he's ugly, isn't he? He's really <laughs> ugly, isn't he? You had him on knife. Double maggot. Double. Double. Dead have right. you really? Yeah. On the whip. On the whip. How big is your whip? Five meters. Is it? Yeah. Good lad. So here we go. Little practice on a lake nearby to the match length just to get our waggler stuff ready. Been good on it, JD. Very good fun today, hasn't it? Yeah. Got a bit of Croatian music going on on the far bank. Currently catching skimmers and catfish shallow on the waggler. <laughs> How solid is this place? It's mad, isn't it? I think it's catfish this one. You reckon? Be wrong, be a little skimmer. Oh, I think it's catfish. Oh, you were gonna go skimmer. I'm gonna go skimmer, yeah. <laughs> catfish. Like about how hard you have yours? About that, about that. Yeah? Yeah. You wanna bite? Better be quick because it's going about 30 meters out there, kid. <laughs> Hopefully, that skimmer wants to bite. Do what? Do what? They got a skimmer? I'm going to say it's another skimmer, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, skimmer. He's got his catfish outfit on. Has he really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I get an oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Frankie were a fish, that's what it'd be. Got belly on him. Got belly like me, him, honey. Well, I'm not going to say out. <laughs> skimmer. Little Jimmy Rimmer, mate. Can have a look at him. Do you know what the difference between an English skimmer and a Croatian skimmer is? What? I don't know. Just wondered if you knew. Do you not know? Only that live in different countries. Yeah? Yeah. Lovely fish, them, aren't they? Beauties. Give me a little kiss. Mm. Nice little skimmer, love. Beautiful, isn't he? I'll say eight ounce, ten ounce. If for you, I reckon you'd say six ounce, but for me, I'd be honest, about <laughs> ten. Oh, go on, get him back before I slip in. Just did a bit of a slide there, folks. Catfish. 
Have a look at him. So what are they called? The Poisson Chat. Mm. Look at him, how cute as all that is. Look at all these little spices out there. Very spiky. Three of them, one, two, three. And they've got like stingy stuff on them, haven't they? Anticoagulant. Do you know what that means? Don't stop bleeding. That's it, so look at him. Oh, looks like Alex Rimmer. Better looking than him, isn't he? Look at that little thing. How many of them is there out there? Seven million six hundred forty-two thousand and twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> ah, got me. What happened? Got me. Tell you what, kid. It's expensive over here, isn't it? I know. I told you not to spend that much. <laughs> Eight hundred and forty-five pounds. <laughs> hey up, where's he going? Hey up. What we got here? No, they did Morris dancing in Croatia. <laughs> I'm signing you up. You do it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough for you, well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. What, riddle it and then put it back in paper? Yeah. That's all right, we'll do that. Yeah. Night before the first practice day. Yeah. We've got um, Steve Emingray in with us. Great threesome, that, isn't it? Look at us. <laughs> um, what do you reckon, mate? First first practice day tomorrow. What yeah, you, looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really good. It's a little bit tricky with the height off the water and things like that. Um, but I think it's going to be a great, great week here. Loads of fish to be caught. Um, we've got a lot to try out. Hopefully we'll sort it out and go and uh, do well. Excited, JD? Yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Had a good day on the prep today, aren't we? Yeah. I'm a bit knackered now, to be fair, like. <laughs> Drains you though, doesn't it? Like, we've it's all had a full day prepping. Full day, tying hooks, doing rigs, doing elastics. It's uh, tiring yeah. stuff. Steve's going to give us all a massage later, he says. Mm, don't count on <laughs> that. <laughs> First practice morning, folks. It's about quarter seven. Just got to the other venue. I'm going to mix a bit of ground bait up. Tired, JD? Feeling good? Ready for it, though, are you? Yeah. Can't wait, mate. We'll update you later, folks. Let you know our first day go. Look at this. A bit misty today, isn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful, man. We're going for a go on the boat. Shall we? Yeah. Go on. Had a bit of carnage, road rage, and first day gang. It's all kicking off. Dentist right, we... took the driving seat. And yeah. here is assistant manager Darren Bickerton. What a guy. Look at him. Here he is. Hello, Where have we got? Are we here? Uh, the second box up. Ah. So we've got the other, where's the sheep? We've only drawn for the first three days at the moment because I think there'll be a problem on the last day that one or two teams won't get on the, the other venue. new venue the way it's been. What days are we on for the venue so Wednesday. far? Wednesday. Uh, we're on here the first two, then Wednesday on the uh, uh, other venue, the new venue, which means we will get Thursday or Friday on the new venue. Perfect, that's what we wanted, isn't it? It's, good, it's good for us that some yeah. teams have already drawn three days on here, which means they might not have a day. Uh, I think that's why they've only done a, a, a tirage for three days at right. the moment. It's good for us. There we go. What's the bait like? Oh, it's really good. Is it? Yeah, the casters are perfect. Right. Let's hope we like casters. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. You excited for the first day? Yeah, what's, the, what's the plan? Um, we're going to cup some stuff in, in the little hole yeah. where the digger's dug. Oh, very nice. And it shallows up to about nothing. Drops off again to about 3 foot 30 metres. Catch some big ones out there. Going to try. I think we'll get plagued with small fish for a bit, but mm. hopefully you never know. Nice day for it though, loving it. Okay. It's on day. The bears are there, look. He's ready. Beautiful. Little boys sat on my knee to my left. Yeah. Fishing in between us. Pleasure anglers got in between us, haven't they? Yeah. You're on the waggler in between. I, I am on the waggler in between. Got the little short peg, haven't you, mate? It's a bit tight, I must admit. Mm. But you never know. 
Got to try it, love, haven't we? Ah, absolutely. Weed or catfish out there. See how yeah, that little. Both, really. <laughs> Probably is, isn't it? I hope. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Well, that's the end of day one training on the official match length. Um, it's been a great day. We've all caught plenty of little fish. Here he is. My back's killing, you know, from being lent over. Let, oh, yeah, because we were right. fishing down that big steep bank. Yeah, I might need a massage off you tonight. Get away. Think I'm nice and clean? <laughs> oh, look, look at us. Pitted. <laughs> we look like butchers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been a good day. We've all, um, all caught plenty of fish. And what was interesting was later on in the session, there was a few bigger fish got caught, mm. wasn't there? Yeah, even like we stayed on for an hour or two after. You can fish till six o'clock at night and them Carasio cam caught, that's going to be interesting later in the week because they've come in later on tonight and obviously this place hasn't seen any bait for a while. So whether tomorrow there'll be more of them coming in because they're coming onto the bait, who knows? Yeah, yeah, and there was plenty of bleak to start with, weren't there? Yeah. Then it turned into some catfish on the bottom with odd skimmers mixed in, so... Tactically wise, like after day one, I'd say the three biggest things we've learnt today are, first of all, loads of bleak to start with. Yeah. Secondly, last two hours of the match, fishing on the bottom underneath the bleak, catfish, you had a couple of better skimmers. A couple of better skimmers, yeah, and a Carasio come in short. So you don't know whether more of them are going to come in through the week, do exactly. you really? And then the big fish right at the end that Cam's caught. So I think we've got three really good things to work with after day one. And for day one, I'd say that we've learnt quite a lot compared to some events we've been on. Oh, and the weights, we've had between three and seven and a half kilo. Fantastic fishing, isn't it, really? Been mint. What's well, planned tonight? Go home. I think Nathan's cooking another meal. Um, good cooking, Nathan. He is, isn't he? Like really chorizo good. and some in pasta, isn't mm. it? Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, go home. We'll travel back now. It's only about 15 minutes away and get a few rigs and bits and bobs done that we want to do from today. Um, and we'll catch up tomorrow. Slide on. What do you reckon to first day of practice, Stephen? It was absolutely magnificent. Better than we thought? Better than we thought. Lots and lots of different things happening. I think we learnt a lot. Same today? Same but different. Bit of a different bit today. It's shallower, isn't it? Like yeah, top end. Less catfish, I think. More chance of skimmers and carasios, so. What do you think the most important thing is we learned today? Yesterday. Well, no, today. What, what we got to suss oh, out right, the most? Yeah. Best way to catch the skimmers, I think. Because mm, mm. I think they're going to be a main species to boost us weight up a bit. How's your hand after seven and a half kilo of carasio? Not Carasio, catfish. catfish. Little bit of damage. Right. Round, round that finger's a bit nasty. Don't go flagging anyone off today then. No, no <laughs> chance. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Day two today. Bit of sun cream still left on. Um, steam's just rising off the venue. We're up in box 11. Um, bit of a mix of tactics to do. Whip, pole, long pole, waggler. Um, fishing on the bottom, short, so loads to try. Going to be a busy day. Me and Denny will update you later on tonight. Venue's looking lovely, look at that. What a place. End of day two practice, and this is our daily routine. Matt is going to show you how to order McDonald's in Croatian. Hello, do you speak English? Yes. Uh, can I get, please, a large chocolate milkshake? Yes. A large strawberry milkshake. Okay. And two double cheeseburgers. Okay. That's it, thank you. You can go to the first window, thank you. Slide on. <laughs> I've got a really swollen finger. I got stabbed by another catfish today. Did you? Oh. Yeah, I'll cut that. I'll cut all holes. McDonald's milkshake, 28 degrees. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Fantastic. Great idea, wasn't it? Mmm. Alright, dear man. Yours. How's day two been? Day two has been very good, I would say. We've yes. all learnt loads um, and we've done well. Well, obviously, the teams around us haven't caught quite as much. Yeah. But there's still a lot to learn and it's quite difficult, isn't it? Because you get to buy every single truck. Yeah. But you need to decipher how to catch the bit better fish. Yes, I don't feel like we've got that yet. No, no, we're not. We're not 100%. We've got one more day left on that match length, haven't we? And we've got yeah. two days on the other one. So we're really going to have to get our heads together and work out something for that last day. 100%. What we've learned the two days already. 
<laughs> Our Scottish friends are here. How's, are it, you? how's it going for you lot, lads? How's it going for us? Up and down. <laughs> We're learning more and more every day. You caught some fish, haven't you? I've done alright yesterday. We've had four kilo yesterday. Nice. Harder day the day before, but we're getting we're improving, I think. This is you've been on this um, D and E section here. Yeah. We've not been here yet. So what can we expect today? It's a little bit deeper on the pole. Yeah. And we didn't fish waggler yesterday, but we are expect it to be a wee bit deeper on the waggler as well. Right. Yeah, uh, but we're still plenty of fish, plenty of bites. Sound. Plenty of bites. Enjoy it. See you later, boys. See you all right. See you mate. Bye bye. See you in a bit. Woody, you legend, look at him. <laughs> Darren's the man with the bite this week. Filling our maggots up early, aren't you, every morning? Yes, thank you. You enjoy that part of it? Oh, I love it. Sorry, folks, we have been a little bit slack and delayed, but it has been um, absolute chaos, flat out. Um, last two days we've been to the other venue, aren't we? Yeah, which is about 40 kilometres away. Um, totally different venue, miles wider than the original venue, but still loads of fish in it. So many fish, but very different, like, species are totally different. Yeah, yeah, so it's mainly catfish, catfish with odd skimmers and odd crassios, but still a bite every chuck, really, yeah. isn't it? a lot of waggler fishing, a lot of slider fishing. Yesterday we had between 4 kilo and 5.2. And then today we've had between four and, what did you have, seven? Seven point three, yeah. Seven and a half kilo nearly of like catfish, this big, really crazy fishing. But that's it now on that bit. I feel like we've learnt enough for... I feel, yeah, going off what other teams have caught and stuff, I feel like we're not far off. No. It's very difficult, we're fishing with six in a box and mm. some other teams are fishing with five aren't they in a so box they got so they've room. got more room and stuff like that and it does play a factor doesn't it definitely but we've learned a little bit about feeding sort of less particles seem better yeah not as much joker yeah. you've got to find a certain depth of water like you're caught in six foot today yeah people yeah. who fished in shallow water didn't catch as much and um, we're talking quiet because we're actually at the opening ceremony yeah. um we're in the town I'll tell you what it's a proper oldie worldy town isn't it yeah it is isn't it it's all yeah. bullet holes and stuff like I've that got, in the buildings yeah you can probably see i've got some cutaways going over now like all the old buildings have got all bullet wounds from the war and it just make you realize how lucky we are at home really but loads of character really cool place um like i said not keep yet we'll try and update you tomorrow if we don't it might be um, after the first day or even second day of the match now because things are really hotting up aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be full on tomorrow and getting all the kit ready for the weekend so we all know what we want or hopefully we'll know what we want. Yeah. Last day on the first venue tomorrow so hopefully we can tie up a few loose ends on that one and be all ready to go. Yeah, let's go and enjoy the parade. Yeah. Yeah, you can clap your hands. Yeah. England. English club. Final practice day on the Friday. We're in box six, a little bit deeper than the rest of the length, which is interesting. Might be an odd bigger fish, perhaps. But definitely, because we've been on that other venue for two days, definitely some key things we need to work out and clock on this final practice. But the six of us, we've got four hours, so got a feeling, got a good feeling that we're going to stumble on a thing or two today. Well, that's it. Practice week's over. Done. All done and dusted, in it. Yeah, um, final day today. We've had a good, good last couple of days and seem to have worked plenty out. Yeah. Um, looking forward to the weekend now. Um, this is our last catch up before the match. We've just pulled up back at the digs and final bit of preparation. Yeah. And team talk. I'm a bit knackered there. You can tell he's a bit subdued. That's I why am. I've got a hold of the phone yeah. now. Yeah. 
We've had a, um, <laughs> a bit of a weather change. It's rained a little bit this morning, or quite heavy this morning, and it's raining again now. So, don't know if that's going to affect it. But you've had a great day today and caught some big fish, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've had a good day today and caught maybe 15 carassios. Yeah, a few big Lo skimmers. A few big skimmers, lovely net of fish, a few catfish. Feel like we've learned a little bit more today. Yeah, biggest weight of the week today. You've got eight and a half kilo. Yeah, yeah, it was good fun. Mm. Very good fun. So this is Klaus, folks, and he is famous for these hats. <laughs> How do you say I like your hat in Danish, Klaus? Yeah, you just got in head. Yeah, you just got in hat. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Awesome. <laughs> This is the pack from day one, folks. B19. I weighed in 5 kilo, 225. Don't know how that's going to be just yet. Um, been tricky, wind dacking across, sat it up, made it difficult for whip fishing, but I had a really decent match, really. Caught some fish on a whip to start before wind got up, then a few on a long pole, and then back on a whip on the bottom. We're a heavy rig, but just waiting for. Andrew Cranston to come down and let me know how I've done. So this is what we started using at the start of the week. Tiny, waste yeah. of time. Well, quite an heavy one, a 414. And uh, this is now... 12 gram. 12 gram. Let's have a look at your shotting pattern. What, on your 030 line? 030 fluorocarbon. It's too far into it as well. That's the trouble. Day one, late update folks, it's 10 o'clock, just hit the sack, absolutely shattered. Um, JD, tell them what's happened. Um, well, team's line in ninth position, hmm. which isn't really what we wanted after day one, but that's for sure. Um, good day for you? Very good day. I've come second in my section with 6 kilo, 100. Yes! Of, um, little skimmers and bleak and catfish or mainly on a whip so that was good fun and nice to get a decent result under brilliant, the belt. Brilliant performance in your first ever world champs well yeah. done love. So how have you done? Third in my section um, with five kilo 225 grams again some small fish on a whip a few catfish odd skimmer um, great days fishing unfortunately we've struggled in the other half, but we're both going to the other half tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, so we'll see if we can uh, pressure on. The hat there, yeah, yeah. going to approach it a bit different. We've spent the night um, tying up some bolo rigs that the other teams have caught on big floats on five meter, six meter rods. So hopefully, even though the lads aren't done so great today, we can take what they've learned yeah, yeah, and put, put it, it into practice. practice. Yeah, definitely. We're really looking forward to tomorrow. Let's see if we can make them have it. Should we turn this light out? Go on then. No, no. No. So, up bright and early, folks. Day two of the World Champs. We've got um, assistant manager Darren Bickett in the van with us. What did you make of yesterday, Darren? Yeah, very difficult and tactical fishing on the. Uh, a, B and C section, uh, the, the thing is, every time you go out, you catch a fish. Yeah. You know, you don't matter what tactics you do, what, what methods, you will catch a fish every single cast. Uh, you know, there's bleak, skimmers and catfish, and it's all about targeting the right species at the right time and knowing when to switch. Do you think we learned a lot yesterday that we can apply to today, especially in like, Obviously D and E where me and James are going with you today. Yeah, I think we learned we struggled on D and E. We had a nine and a thirteen points, but uh, we didn't draw particularly well. No. And we possibly didn't fish uh, as well as we could. Uh, there'll be a lot of bolo fishing, which seems strange on a lake. Yeah, it's fishing. mad that, isn't it? We've set some bolos up for today, like uh, I told you last night. You Crazy. Know, in short, eight, 18, 20 metres. Uh, Lots of catfish, good sized catfish. We will get a bite every single cast. Hopefully, do a bit better today. I think so. Here we go. Bait's ready for the second day. Joker, worms, casters, maggots. We're going a little bit more liggy. 
and then the ground bait is just full 20 litres of what we think is the catfish mix. Need some good points today, cran dog, don't we? I think we do, mate. So, full out for catfish on a bolo and a slider, I think, for us today, yeah? Peg C2. Got Peter Check next door. Cran dog's on the bank. Wind's looking a little bit nasty, but we'll give it a go. Slide on, brothers. So, end at second day for me. Um, seven kilo, 405 grams of catfish on the bolo. So, it was worth setting them all up. That's fourth in section out of the 17. Really pleased with that, considering um, never done it before. Didn't practice it. Bit of a last night, last minute change sort of thing. However... Denty has won his section down in E, um, which means he's got three points. Now, normally that gets on the podium and it has even one world championship pass. So I'm absolutely bricking it for him because um, we're just waiting for all the results to come in. But hopefully he might sneak on there. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. So Klaus is back and you'll never guess what. He's only gone and brought me a matching out, hasn't he? Look at that. Of course. What are we gonna? What are they called, Klaus? These? What? What are they called? Uh, propeller hats. That's it. Team propeller hat. Yeah, we are the team propeller. You've got to say slide on. Say so slide on. Come on, give some wind. No, you have to say slide on. Slide on. You go slide on. Slide brother. on. <laughs> Show me the catfish scars. Ooh, there's a few on that finger. That? Is that your prized yeah, finger as well? Yeah, Big use that for a lot of things. Just, just hope the swelling stays. <laughs> <laughs> I want the pain to go, but the swelling to stay. <laughs> the fourth place is James Dent, England. I pobjednik svjetskog prvenstva u lovu ribe udicom na plovak. The winners of the team competition in the 68th championship is Serbia!
What's happening here? Driving. I know, everyone thinks Denty drives all the time. But this time, Matt's also going a couple of miles. Only a couple. Oh, it's getting a bit tight here. Oh, we're in the road. I'm trying to have to concentrate. You're going to have to step in. Look at the guru lines on the road. See them? Yeah. Orange guru lines. Yeah, did they borrow the paint? Yeah, that's up our float. Great. And what a way to finish the trip off. By sharing a double bed. <laughs> Haven't been in one for a while, have we? No farting tonight. Alright? Come on if you say so. Final catch up gang while we are under the English Channel on the tunnel. James, how did we end up? We ended up sixth of the team, um, which was a good result. Yeah. To say the species of fish that we don't really fish for that much. We were ninth on the first day. Aim was to claw a bit back for our team's rankings, which we did. Yeah, yeah, we managed to claw back to sixth position and we finished third on day two. So. It was a good um, good comeback. A little bit of redemption there. Um, talking about the fish like you mentioned, obviously I think the fact we don't have catfish in England, these little poisson shats, and also we don't have hardly any bleak in England and they were the main two species, it made it very difficult for us. But um, I think that from the team's point of view, myself, you, Cam, the younger ones, obviously using the experience of like Will, Sean and yeah. Steve, can take a lot away from this trip. Yeah, I felt like we learned a lot for the future, definitely. Mm. You personally, section win to finish off the campaign, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, yeah, section win on the second day um, with seven kilo, 600 of catfish, mainly on the bolo, because we got um, Serbia done really well on the bolo, so we all set bolos up for the weekend. And yeah. That was just a different game altogether, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was mental. Obviously, we were setting them up on Saturday night after Sean and Steve had been there. They had come back and they were like, right, lads, you've got to fish this bolo. And Goran from Serbia, he'd given us some floats earlier in the week to try it. Which is very nice. Of oh, you, unbelievable. Brilliant. Thank you, mate, if you're watching. Um, so me and you were rigging them up, weren't we, late Saturday night. <laughs> just sort of went for it the following day having not practiced it or anything and it, it were the difference between fishing a bolo for them catfish even though it's a still water and a slider it was just so much quicker wasn't it yeah so much quicker it literally went in went to the bottom and went under didn't it yeah I ended up with one. 230 catfish mint absolutely so mint good, good, very good exercise I ended up fourth in the section on the second day out of the 17 so finished with a third on the first day out of the 17 pegs and a fourth on the second day which were i were pleased with very very pleased always room i could have nicked another point on the last day 25 grams but um happy with consistent scores for sure um and i think if we'd have been a little bit quicker this is me being brutally honest switching on to the bolo having a bit of practice on that during the practice week I think we could have been stood on that podium with a bronze medal. Perfect scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was a bit, yeah, definitely. He's not going to big this up, by the way. Obviously, we're second first day. Woody section, second day. We were absolutely bricking it <laughs> on the bank, or I was, because sometimes three points wins, and three points did win the World Champs this time, but you were a bit unlucky, mate, weren't you? Yeah, just on that first uh, 800 gram shot of a uh, section win, but... Overall, it was a great, great to do well on my debut, and I was over the moon really to come back with some decent scores for the team, and that's the main aim of the game. You can fourth individual. Fourth individual, yeah. Fourth best angler in the world. This kid, nah. Well done, mate. No, Honestly, it were um, you don't show emotion as much as me, but I were absolutely cacking my pants waiting for results coming in because I thought he could win this with three points. But and then I got to your box and you were walking up and down. I was like, what's he doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> But I hope that we've given you a bit of an insight, folks. Obviously, it's difficult to do these vlogs. These weeks are so intense. Um, so odd little videos here and there are all we can do. Put them together. So it feels like you've sort of been here and felt a little bit of what's happening. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm sure next international trip, we'll 
try and do something very similar. Yeah, look forward to doing a few next year, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you very much for your support. Um, massive thanks to Sensus, who sponsor the team we bait, and obviously Tackle Guru, who look after us, give us the time to do it. It's, um, it's greatly appreciated. Very much appreciated. See you next time, gang. See you later.